I'm Troy Revelino Sanchez. My name is Genesis Lopez, I'm 18, and I'm Guatemalan and Nicaraguan. <laughs> My name is Andrew Ortega. My name is Griselda Torres. My name is Jason Lau. I'm Catherine Josein, and I'm from Los Angeles. My name is Michael Umamoto. If you guys asking, I am Japanese. <laughs> my name is Carlos Oriola. My name is Mirabel Garcia. Um, my name is Javier Bustos. My name is Jay Anthony Alejandro De Vera. Blanca Flores. Hi, my name is Joshua Granger. Hi, my name is Christina Padilla. I am an 18-year-old girl. This is Marlon Alfonso Castro. Shout out to Jay De Vera. My name is Eric Aguayo. My name is Jamie Medina, and I'm the first captain in the Sun Valley history. Cheerleading. <laughs> my name is Alicia Herrera. My name is Brian Rotana. My name is Javier Zambrano. I struggled with art class. Math. Math is for Barbadians. Being out there and I don't know, I'm very antisocial and I feel like people don't understand me sometimes. I didn't really get the division or multiplying down that well. Getting to school on time and not being absent. <laughs> And I also struggled with um, my math classes. Math. Mostly math. I struggled with that a lot, but uh, I eventually overcame it. So. People. I, I struggled with people because they weren't like me. <laughs> math. Algebra 2 and then having to stay after school every day until 6 from practice. I did struggle with math, that is like my worst, and let's not pull any stereotypes about how I'm Asian because I'm not good at math at all. I just made it to AP Statistics. I struggled with AP English in high school. I struggled with math throughout the whole high school, even to this day. I hate math. I found out that being at school every single day and focusing helped me be successful and also not listening to my iPod. <laughs> I found that uh, studying actually really helped me be successful. I mean, it's a drag sometimes and it sucks, but it actually really helps you. I found out that going to class made me successful and actually doing work and my parents and teachers being on me about doing good, that actually has gotten me this far and I'm thankful for that. Culinary arts in Miss Arlington's class helped me be successful. Helped me, it gave me a goal. Being myself. My teachers helped me out because they gave me more time to work on like homework and all that. Gave me more time to work on the stuff. Have helped me to like tell them, tell me to ask questions and all that. Motivation. Helped me become successful because I know I need a lot of that. I need somebody that had to help me get on track because I know I always drift off into God knows where. Well, not being lazy, that was the first thing. You know, and the rest, it was all to me. I doubted myself. I didn't, I was telling myself that I wasn't gonna make it because my family didn't make it. So, that's how I doubted myself. But I realized that, you know, you could do it. I was like lazy or I didn't want to do the work or I gave up on myself too easily. I was like, oh, it's too hard, I don't want to do it. And I should have really actually like tried harder, pursued it, and went for it. I didn't really care at the moment. Actually going to a downfall and really messing up, and well, I realized that everything I'm doing for it's for myself. So if I wanted um, something good to come out of it, I had to get back up and actually do it for myself. So now I'm over here graduating and yeah, I feel good about it now. <laughs> Sometimes we are just too lazy or we just don't want to do it and we miss out on a learning experience, I guess. Uh, my advice in coming freshman would be uh, do you work, get it done, because it will catch up to you. Because it, it caught up to me and I had to switch schools, uh, like catch up on my grades and then switch back. And even now when I came back, I was still struggling just to graduate and I barely made it by like the skin of my teeth. If you have like future goals in mind, then it'll help you to avoid all the distractions along the way. It'll help you to not get you into drugs or just being cool or, you know, messing around during instructional time. So I would just say focus. Remember that this isn't forever. And if you screw up this little bit of time, it might screw up your future. Don't ditch class.
because it really comes back to in senior year. No drama. Well, actually, you can't stop drama, but prevent it at all costs. Be yourself and do your own thing. Um, some people might not like it, but that's up to them. To go to class. I know ditching may be fun or going to class is lame, but it will mess you up later on um, doing your work because in the end, it's just for you. It really is just for you. Stay away from all the bad stuff. It's not worth it in the end. Stay in school and like, don't do drugs. Stop being lazy. Like, honestly, you think it's, oh, I'm going to go out with my friends. Oh, I'm going to go be a bad <laughs> Honestly, you can do that right now. But when you're a senior, if you ever get up to there, you're not going to like it. You're going to have a horrible time. So just get your stuff done and enjoy yourself later on. college graduate, having a bachelor's degree, just being independent from my parents, and that includes driving and having my own job and just taking care of myself. Just going to community college and doing good in it. I want to be, uh, become a writer, a novelist, like write stories and all that. Go to college, I guess. Go to college, for sure. <laughs> Learn to drive so I could drive my Hummer. In psychology or um, being a detective and all that. For a long time, I was really interested in character animation, but suddenly music is calling to me. So I don't know. Hopefully, I get to do a lot of um, art, anything artistic. Right? The music industry. I want to go abroad, like travel to Philippines, back to my home country, and try and get an inter internship at the CAA agency. In 10 years, um, I would like to get my doctorate. I want to be an anthropologist and I want to start going out and um, visiting new worlds, um, learning about different cultures, and hopefully um, I, I have published something. I want to be an army ranger and uh, maybe something go higher after that, maybe a seal or anything, if I, if I could ever make it that far. I really want to do something with performing either a computer technician or a mechanic. The culinary arts. Maybe in the entertainment industry, maybe in the medical field, maybe as an artist or a writer. Your science? Um, I'm so excited. I'm going to college next year. I wish to have a career in um, criminology, forensics. Aviation technician. Anywhere I look, you know, they always say they want to come here and I'm from here and I see that there's a lot of things you can do and I just want to have that freedom. Follow, follow your dream, follow what you want, want to do. Don't, don't, um, don't uh, let people tell you you can't do this and all that. Just follow your dream, just go for it. High school can be a drag. Um, you have a lot of temptations and you want to do many different things, get into bad situations, but just do it for yourself. You'll, you'll, you'll be thankful that you're actually, you're someone in the end. Try, try hard. You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't do anything. You really gotta try and work hard for it. You know, and then you, you gotta get along with people too, you know, so whoever it is, whether you don't like them or disagree them, respect who they are, respect their views, and demand that they respect yours in a way too. You, Cause you just gotta, you gotta get along in the world, you know, so even if you don't like someone or disagree, just find some middle ground and compromise. Learn to get back up when I make mistakes. High school was awesome. I'm gonna miss this place. I never thought I'd say that, but I really, I'm gonna miss high school. Like, it's become a second home, I guess.